This is the only mug recipe I accept. Hi, I'm Brooke, and I don't like mug cakes, but I do love breakfast. So I'm gonna try making some breakfast foods in a mug and brownies, which isn't breakfast, but it should be breakfast. There's a recipe for a brownie in a mug from You Suck at Cooking on YouTube, and I'm gonna watch it, and let's see if that changes my mind on eating things out of mugs. You suck at cooking. Three tablespoons of packed brown sugar and three tablespoons of cocoa dust. Did he now make that tiny mug. table? Now Wang jangle that while hunting for powder pockets. What? Until you I'm sure I can do it. It doesn't seem that hard, but I think what's gonna happen is it's basically gonna be a huge circular middle piece. Are you a corner brownie person? I'm a corner person. I will fight you to get to the corner. My prediction is it's gonna be okay. That's it. Three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Having made maybe two mug cakes before in my life, I always feel like there's too much flour. And then three tablespoons of packed brown sugar. Isn't that a lot? Am I crazy? That seems like a lot to me. Would there normally be three tablespoons in just my corner piece? Three tablespoons of... This says cocoa dust. Is it just because he's trying to find fancy ways to say things or is cocoa dust a thing? I just have cocoa powder, it looks dusty. And I have Dutch cocoa powder. I don't know the difference between all the cocoa powders. Pinch of sea salt. Wang jangle the dusts together. I assume this is wang jangling. Is that even a word? Add in two tablespoons of melted butter and three tablespoons of milk. Let's do 30 seconds to start. And then while that's melting, we can do three tablespoons of milk. This is why we work out, Brooke, so we can lift milk. It's so heavy! Brooke. It's just so heavy! You got this. Okay. Now this is what you want it to look like. I would like to just eat this without cooking it. Throw in the microwave for one minute and 20 seconds. Okay. That's such a pretty mug. Okay. One. Yes, it looks like a brownie. It also looks like a pile of dough. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> it's fudgy though. For three tablespoons, packed tablespoons of sugar. It's not that sweet. Ooh, can I riff? I made strawberry sauce. I think that and blueberries would be really good with this. I'm so proud of this sauce. And then, those look good. Oh shit. sorry for cursing, that changes it. That made it better. Not just because I made the sauce, a little bit though. It made it a little bit sweeter, not as heavy, less like a mug full of fudge. Was it worth it? I mean, I guess. I've eaten half of it already, but I want more. I want my edges. There's no, no crispy edge in here. This was a middle piece a good middle piece, but make it in the oven. Okay, next, a pancake in a mug, which I guess doesn't count as a cake. Why does pancake have cake in the name, but is not considered a cake? Is this easier than just whipping it up and making it in a pan? I'm gonna say probably not. So now I'm gonna watch the video. This is the one minute microwave mug, pancake, all capital letters. We're super excited, it's breakfast time from Emma's Goodies. Turn. Making pancakes just got easier. Today we're making this quick one minute microwave mug pancake, which is delicious. Add the flour and She's so excited. I wish I could match her level of energy. I do like to swirl my mug that way. The How is she not spilling this everywhere? Hers looks picture perfect. Mine's not gonna look like that. This is my Jersey City mug. There's a lot of room in here. It's not my biggest mug, but there's a lot of, this is a lot of pancake. Melt the butter in the mug. Okay. I have 40,000 mugs. I use the same two mugs all the time. One of them is this one. And it's supposed to be three fourths of a tablespoon of sugar, but we're just using one. Mixing that together. I don't like mixing things in a mug. A bowl is easier because you have more space. Three tablespoons of all purpose flour and baking powder, which is fourth of a teaspoon. Am I Ina Garten? No but would you enjoy what I made you? Yeah, probably. I think it looks like pancake batter. I'm wondering how much it's gonna puff up. Microwave for one minute. 
I can't wait to open maple syrup. I love maple syrup so much. I had at one point a huge jug from Vermont. It took forever to get through it, but I enjoyed it so much. Ooh, ah, that's hot. It puffed, but that doesn't look like a pancake. But maybe maple syrup will save it. Let's see here. It looks a little less sad, right? She says, asking for validation. It's not cute, but it looks like it might have a heart of gold. It tastes like a pancake. It's too much pancake, but it does taste like one. Okay, last one. We're making French toast in a mug. So this is a spruce eats recipe. I've never made it before, but I'm gonna give it a try. Think about French toast. It's not like, oh, I wake up and I'm just gonna whip together some French toast. It's a commitment. You've probably told people the night before, I am making French toast. The French toast I think is something where it would be better to have just a serving for me and save the whole process of making French toast for when I had people over or for someone at a restaurant to make for me or my mom who makes really good French toast. Can I just say, I'm already so excited that it's asked for a bowl. Mixing things in mugs is annoying. Oh, it's a little too much, but you know what? It's fine, Brooke, it's fine. One large egg, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, I don't have my fourth teaspoon, but I enjoy cinnamon, so if I do a half, that'll be okay. Pinch, pinch of salt, is that enough? Oh, it smells so good. So we're using brioche, fancy bread, because we're fancy people. I've already cubed it up. It's about a cup. See, no mess. From dredging the bread and the egg and then dragging it over to the pan, you've inevitably spread raw egg all over your counter. Didn't have to do that with this. Microwave it for two minutes. Oh wow, what are we gonna do with all this time? Oh damn, that looks good. So we're adding butter and syrup. Do you say syrup or do you say syrup? I wanna know. I'm very proud of this. This looks impressive um, and very, very good. And the maple syrup is just sloshing around in there and it's just like a dream. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna get a bite. Yes, this is so good. It's everything that you love about French toast. This is perfect and so much easier to make than actual French toast. I'm not fully convinced that this is the way people should make and eat food, but this one's very good, and so maybe there are other recipes out there too that are just as good and actually save you more time and cleanup. What's your mug French toast? The mug recipe that you made where you said, oh my God, this has changed my life, and now I make this all the time. If you wanna see me cook more things or you wanna tour inside my fridge, let me know down in the comments below what you wanna see, and make sure to subscribe to The Spruce Eats.